and welcome back to our final part for Citizen Extra. Uh, this morning, Brian O'Kot now joins us with the latest from News Trends. Brian. A very good morning to you, Hussein Mohammed, aka mm -hmm. Chairman Jagom. Let's take a look at what is trending in the world of social media and entertainment. And the long anticipated match between American fighter, that is Floyd Mayweather, and UFC star, that is Conor McGregor, has been set for August 26th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Both fighters announced that they will take part in the fight yesterday. And uh, what remains to be said are the terms of fight. Mm -hmm. uh, the rounds to be boxed and also the media the fight will be aired on and it is understood that either fighter will walk home with 10.2 billion shillings after a fight that will last around 35 to 45 minutes to say regardless of how it goes regardless where you already have 10.2 billion yes but and the other time uh, Floyd Mayweather made around 22 billion Kenyan shillings after he fought uh, Filipino that is money mm -hmm. in, yeah. in 36 yeah. minutes so there's another 10 billion in another 36 minutes mm -hmm. that, yeah. that, that 32 billion wasn't enough I so he needs another 10 billion no if you look <laughs> at uh, the kind the of that is passed and the money that has been making it's amazing yeah. if you look at the kind of life that Floyd Mayweather lives on social media I tell you that 22 billion shillings wasn't <laughs> enough for him <laughs> and he set a date to make more money on August 26th in mm -hmm. Las Vegas Nevada and moving on to another story that is a bit interesting mm -hmm. and a gang of thieves broke into St. John S.E.K. Dongoro Church in Lower Kabete 2 a.m. Tuesday and tied up a watchman before moving to the altar where they made away with electronics including a piano, laptops, amplifiers and a mixer and wait for real, this is what they did after that the thieves also drank the church wine before stealing it and escaping to an unknown destination. It takes a lot of courage to go and see a lot the of house God. of God. A lot of God. A lot of God. Yeah. Alright, and moving on to another story. Uh, media personality Grace Salame has revealed that she has never been married, contrary to media reports that have uh, circulated extensively on social media, that she and her ex-partner, that is Paul Ndishu, are divorced. And Salame took to Instagram to say conceiving in her mid-twenties made her feel ashamed given her family orientation and she says she later came to terms with the reality of being a single mother and if I can quote exactly what she said I have no idea where the marriage story came from I'm glad that I finally know that to be a Christian does not mean perfection but participation that is Grace Salami saying Mimi Sijawai Olewa Katu 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 and the baby daddy recently walked down the aisle with another lady and mm -hmm. even Grace Msalame said that she was happy for the newlyweds and even the kids actually were part of the flower girls in that wedding alright All right. and moving on to another story that is rather sad and uh, Kenyan musician Bradley Juma Obomi, popularly known to many as Trap King Chrome, allegedly pushed his British girlfriend, that is Tiny Collins, from the sixth floor of a loving of a Lovington apartment here in Nairobi last weekend. And Trap King was arrested and taken to Mudangari police station as investigations continue while the girlfriend was rushed to a Nairobi hospital for urgent medical attention. And it is alleged that the two fought over claims that one of the partners was unfaithful. I not, is it known who of the, which of the two part of them, I mean, who was unfaithful? Trap, uh, according to Trap King Chrome, that is uh, the Kenyan musician, sh uh, he says that uh, his girlfriend, that is Taino Collins, was the one who was unfaithful. Mm -hmm. But interestingly, uh, Trap King Chrome was uh, deported from London in May, and uh, the girlfriend, that is Taino Collins, who resides in London, decided to follow him right here and live with him here in Kenya. And that is what transpired. And, and do you know her condition? Kenya. She's still in hospital? Yes, I understand that uh, her condition is improving. I inquired from uh, the OCPD and he told me, o OCPD Mudangari Police Station, and he told me that uh, Tanu Collins' condition is improving and will soon be discharged from hospital. Okay. All right, and moving on to another story which is political in nature. In Budalangi legislator Ababu Namamba was yesterday booed offstage by residents of Bumala in Butula constituency where President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto had taken their campaign and the Budalangi legislator had been invited mm -hmm. to address the gathering at Bumala market by President Uhuru Kenyatta 
but the gathering would have none of it accusing uh, Ababu na Mwamba of warming up to Jubilee and even betraying the Luya community's political stance. Let's take a look at that video, then we can talk about it. Alright, uh, there's a Babu Namwamba in Bumala market in Butula constituency where President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy so are taking their campaign. It's very interesting. Politics is just a tricky game. Yes, politics Brian, is I mean, very... I mean, uh, Babu Namwamba is now supporting Jubilee, President Kenyatta's re-election. Mm. The people there were listening to President Kenyatta, they are welcoming him, they are ready to listen to him, they are ready to listen to Babu Namwamba. Because he's just supporting Kenyatta's election. They are not ready to listen to Ababu Namwamba's address and interestingly the president said uh, that I respect your rights. You have a right to be addressed by whomever you wish. So if you don't want Ababu Namwamba, I will continue my speech and uh, true to his words he continued his speech without Ababu Namwamba addressing the gathering. Okay. Alright, and moving on to the last story. Prepare yourself tomorrow with your dancing shoes and dancing boots. Uh, Citizen TV's 10 over 10 show will be celebrating its first anniversary tomorrow in style. And the power lineup has been arranged for the ultimate entertainment experience with artists such as the Council, Christoph, Bahati, Calligraph Jones, Kenrezi, Gabu, Ekodida, Scott the Violinist, and Nyboy are on the lineup for that particular show and the show will be hosted by Owen Willis Raburu and Joy Muzengi and it will go down tomorrow 10 p.m. that is such an ultimate entertainment experience you can't miss out on mark the time tomorrow 10 p.m. on Citizen TV alright that is all we had from uh, the news trends and uh, entertainment desk. My name is Brano Koth and do have a fulfilling day ahead. But I understand that the Samis twins in uh, Kenyatta National Hospital that were separated eight months ago have been released to go home today. That's such a good day to the family exactly. and also Kenyans at large. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, log on to www.edaily.co.ke for the freshest and hottest entertainment news right there. Back to you, Hussein Mohammed. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for you. That is a job. And thank you for watching Citizen X Time with Saint Mohammed of Kiswahili colleagues take over for the next hour that is twelve midday that is to one PM. Thank you for watching again. Have a good day.